Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be starting a playthrough of The Sims 1 for the PlayStation 2. I have a goal in my channel to play every single Sims spinoff game, even the more obscure ones like The Sims 2 on the DS and the GameCube, all that fun stuff. So this is just another one that I haven't played yet that I'm really interested in. I've heard a lot of good things about this game and it's supposedly one of the best better spin-off games, so I'm pretty excited to start playing this. It took me a long time to get this to work, but I finally got it to work. This is one that I wanted to play even before The Sims 2, because I kind of wanted to play them in order, but you know, that's that's obviously not going to happen anymore. So here we are, we're playing this now, and I'm very excited. I cannot wait. This game looks awesome. So let's start a life. Okay, so our family name. Okay, we're just gonna call her Coffee because I'm drinking coffee and I don't feel like thinking of a normal last name. It looks like we just get caps. We can't, no lowercase, whatever. <laughs> and her name is going to be Belinda because why not? And perfect, so that's her name. And she is not this guy. Oh my God, what is that? What is that arm coming through the window? What the heck was that? <laughs> oh my gosh. That scared me. Is that Slenderman? I hope that's not Slenderman. All right. So she is a female. Her sign, we'll just pick something that's, you know, not too obnoxious. We don't want her messy, that's for sure. Cancer, she'll be a little shy. She'll be active more on the neat side, more on the nice side, a little bit more on the serious side. I would say that's okay. Cancer sounds like a pretty good sign. Looks like we have four different body types. Honestly, they all pretty much look the same to me. <laughs> There's not much difference there. Some of these hairstyles are pretty cute though. Like that's really cute. Okay, it's a burglar. Uh, did you see that creeper in the window a second ago? Oh my God. <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm very tempted. We might go with this. I don't know why this is an option. Like, wh why? Who came up with that? Like, yeah, let's just uh, white makeup, lipstick. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> you do you, Sims. It was it was a long time ago. Ooh, look at all these pretty eye colors. <gasps> purple. I think we're gonna go with purple because that would match her purple aesthetic. I'm just gonna make her entirely purple. Like, she's just a purple girl. Her favorite color is purple. Everything in her life is purple. This one or this one? I like the darker one, I think. Accessories, let me see your face. Glasses, and is that earrings? Earrings, ooh, yeah, that's her. That's so her. She's kind of like, she has kind of like a punkish style to her. I like it. All right, now we just got to go back to her body real quick. Yeah, we'll stick with that one, I guess. Time for the clothes. It seems like we don't have too many options here. I want her to have a skirt though, for sure. Or like, yeah, something like that, shorts or a skirt. Okay, we might go with this. So we'll just make her shirt and her skirt purple. All right, let's see what colors we can get for the shirt. Yeah, we'll do the dark one. See what shoes we have. Oh yeah, these are her shoes for sure. Wait, what about these? Eh, I don't like them, they're weird. All right, that looks good to me. I think that's everything. Are we done? I think this is Belinda. <laughs> she is fabulous. She's perfect. All right, so I guess we're gonna get into the game now. I'm so excited. Start house. Would you like to say before starting? Yes. Am I supposed to be reading this or is it just gonna load? To format, too much to read there. Welcome to the Sims. Congratulations, you created your first Sim. Spend a couple minutes getting to know them and their surroundings. Move the cursor over objects and press the X button to make the Sims move. Okay, what's wrong with you? You're already complaining. Very typical of a Sim. What the? What am I doing here? Whose mansion is this? Okay, that's concerning. She just wakes up in some random mansion and that rug is definitely a choice. Oh my goodness. I would not want that in my house. What the? Who is this? Wow, Randy, what are you doing here? Let's join him, I guess, why not? It seems like he's our boyfriend or something like that. Uh, Belinda, march on over there, get inside that hot tub. Belinda, stop daydreaming, wake up, wake up. Belinda, don't fall asleep in the hot tub, that is not a good idea. Oh, what are you guys doing? 
<laughs> we're already getting off to a strange start here. Wake up, wake up. Are you going to daydream all day long? Press start button for goals. Okay, so that was just a dream. Belinda, you have an interesting dream world. Oh, great. Now, how are we supposed to have any fun around here? I'm missing my soap operas. Do I have to fix that? So it said press start for goals. Borrow $800 from mom. Cook dinner without starting a fire. Fix the TV. All right, so let's borrow some money from mom. Borrow money. Hopefully she gives it to us right away. She might ask us to do chores or something. Hey mom, can I have some money? The way she just slowly handed it over was like, she really didn't want to. She's like, I guess since you're my daughter, I'll do it. She'll be happy if we fix her uh, $25 TV. It was totally worth the eight. Oh. Oh, um, are you okay there? You know, that's what you get for trying to repair electronics with low mechanical skills. You should crack a book once in a while. Uh, good idea. That is that is a smart idea, Mom. Thanks. Should have told me that sooner. I'm missing my soap operas. Don't you know how to fix a TV? I, I just tried and I almost died. Chill out, Mom. Oh my God. <laughs> She's trying to kill me here. So wait, we have $300. Did she not want to give me the money? Let's keep borrowing money from her, I guess. She didn't give us all the money. She's being cheap. Excuse me, mom. You owe us a little money here. Okay, so she gave us a little bit more. She's just giving us a little bit at a time. She's just really holding on to that money. <laughs> I mean, we're, just, we're gonna keep asking. So you might as well just fork it all over. <laughs> Come on. I don't got all day here. All right, she's being stingy now. Oh, oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no more. You just got 500 off of me. I'm not in the mood to lend you any money. <laughs> I just gave you 500 bucks. That's enough for today, lady. I guess we'll just eat this food she dropped on the floor. Why not? Mmm, yum, yum. Tasty. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a bag of ramen, but I guess it's supposed to be something a little bit more edible. <laughs> We need to learn some mechanical skill. So I guess we're going to start reading up on mechanical here. Can we speed up? Oh, wait, we're in control of the mom now. Okay, there we go. That's the speed up button. We'll be using that a lot, I'm sure. Okay, we're almost leveling up. Maybe we'll get two skills. A three wrench salute is in order. Belinda has received one mechanical skill point. We'll get to um, level two and then try to fix the TV. That seems like a smart idea. I don't want to die in like episode one. <laughs> what is she doing over there? Oh, she's cooking? Why did she make that noise when she was cooking? <laughs> she must be excited about coffee or whatever. I don't know. How are you ever going to live on your own if you don't learn to cook for yourself? Pick up a cookbook once in a while. She is so naggy. We're reading the mechanical skill book because she told us to do that and now she's like, Start learning how to cook. <laughs> One thing at a time, mom. One thing at a time. All right, we almost got that second skill. So once we're done with that, we'll fix the TV, then pick up the cookbook. I have a feeling that if we tried to cook without any cooking skills, we'd start a fire. And you know, I wouldn't mind seeing that in this game. <laughs> that might be funny. All right, congratulations. Belinda has received one mechanical skill point. All right, let's put this book away. How do we put the book away? Uh, stop it? Oh my god, we're stuck. How do we stop reading? How do I stop? You got this, Belinda. Oh, okay, that's how you pull up the motives. Her hunger's a little low. Her bladder's low. Oh my gosh, this is very Sims 1. The needs decay fast. Definitely a Sims 1 game. She's like patting it, like, be a good TV, please. Please don't electrocute me. <laughs> You're almost there, Belinda, come on. What did you do over there, mom? Why'd you just put a random mess on the floor? Clean that up. Also, I like how our mom is also a fan of purple. <laughs> we're definitely her daughter. All right, I guess we're gonna clean up mom's mess because she's not gonna clean it up. Congratulations, Belinda fixed the TV. You unlocked the Charismaster vanity mirror. So here's the Charismaster vanity table. Hey, it's a mirror before, I think. Whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm a little concerned about what mom's listening to here. I don't want a copyright strike, so why don't you turn that off, if you don't mind? <laughs> Ew. 
I just picked up a pile of mom's throw up. I don't know what she put on the floor, but it didn't look natural, whatever it was. It's like nuclear waste or something. Uh, yeah, go here, I guess. So let's try to cook something. How on earth do we do that? Have a snack, have quick dinner, have regular dinner. Let's try have regular dinner. We're hoping that she can do this without burning the house down. I believe in her. She can do it. I know she can. Stop playing with fire. If you studied a cookbook, maybe you would know how to cook without burning the house. Oh my goodness. Extinguish this. Extinguish! What are you doing? <laughs> Stop panicking and extinguish! Oh, the fireman's coming. Okay, thank goodness. We would have died without him. Oh, there we go. Yeah, get all up in there and extinguish that fire. You gotta get right next to it. Three sins not managed to put out one oven fire. Accomplishment right there. Okay, so we cannot cook anything until we have a cooking skill. Noted. So let's have a snack instead because I think our hunger is super low. Yes, it is. <laughs> She's like in line for the refrigerator. That's hilarious. <laughs> nom nom nom. Eat those foods. All right, let's have a little shower here. Ooh, our bladder is super low. Let's use that. So I would like to know how to cancel actions because I haven't figured that part out yet. So that's like switching between sins. That's pause. That's speed up. I have no idea. There's mom. So that's our relationships. Do we have like potential to gain personality points or something? I'm wondering why they're yellow there. Let's get this over with, Belinda. You're gonna be in there all day if I don't speed this up. The motives, what are they called? Yeah, the motives go down so low. I mean, so fast. All right, time for toilet. We almost peed our pants, holy mackerel. All right, so we're gonna have one. What the heck is mom doing in the kitchen? It looks like a tornado hit this place. What are you doing? Why is she making a mess all over? <laughs> is she, she better? I swear. She's trying to make our lives miserable. She's gonna make us clean this up. Is she having snacks and just tossing them on the floor? You gotta do better. <laughs> you have to do better. <laughs> all right. Okay, we're like dying here. So let's uh, watch a little TV. She turned the radio on again. Oh my God, please don't. No, we'll get mom to turn this off. What's Belinda doing? Don't even try to cook, Belinda. I swear, you can't cook yet. You don't have any... Ooh, she's dumb. <laughs> she started another fire. I clicked off of her for one second and she started another fire. We gotta get with the program here. We can't be starting fires and trashing the kitchen every three seconds. It's not gonna work. Okay, here comes the fireman. How's this oven even still working? Our hygiene went down again because we were in a fire. Ugh, whatever. Just watch TV. Where's the mom? You know what? Here. Okay, that's off. You watch TV too. Just get out of the kitchen, guys. No more kitchen for you. You've lost your kitchen privileges. So let me check our goals again. So cook dinner without starting fire is one of the goals. Borrow $800 from mom. So we have to get her in a good enough mood to borrow money from her. And we have to read up on cooking to not start a fire when we cook. Okay, <laughs> we can do this, no problem. Come on guys, get a little TV in. You're both super bored. Are you watching? Dude, I told you to watch the TV. Her fun is not going up, why? Oh my God, it's going up so slow. Is that you? Something sure smells funky in here. Maybe you should take a shower and freshen up. You'll be in a better mood. Or I should say, you'll be in a better mood. What? Why? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's take a bath, I guess. I swear, if she puts more trash on the floor, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> yeah, look at her! I saw her! She just freaking drops the bag on the floor, doesn't bother to clean it up. You're cleaning this up because you did this. She's cleaning all of this up. We can't live with her anymore. She she just makes messes everywhere she goes. I'm tired of cleaning up for Belinda. I won't do it anymore. I'm not a maid. Are you kidding me? <laughs> she, <laughs> she's like she's like a pathological liar. She made that mess. Are you kidding? I have to clean this up? Out of the question. Over my dead body. <laughs> no, no, no. 
Oh my god, she's she's awful. <laughs> she's just gonna let the kitchen look like this because she doesn't want to clean up her own mess. Okay, have a snack. Are you kidding me? She's doing it again. I'm going to punch this woman. She's gonna make another mess. She's gonna like take two pieces of chips and then toss it on the floor. <laughs> what is this game? Oh, there she goes. Yep. Yeah, well, this is a good spot for this. Just put it right there. No big deal. Oh my God, she's doing it again. What is wrong with her? This woman is insane. <laughs> oh my God. I think Belinda's mom is trying to do whatever she can to make her life miserable. <laughs> Poor Belinda. You look tired, honey. Why don't you take a nap? Okay, mom, thanks. I think I will. That's the nicest thing she's said to us so far. <laughs> What's that racket? Shut it off. I need some peace and quiet. Okay, I guess we'll shut it off because you can't walk two feet to turn off the TV. <laughs> Here, turn this off and then turn this one off. Oh gosh, everything is on right now. And then head to bed. Go to bed, Belinda. Mom's gonna sleep on the couch, apparently. So how's she? Ooh, why don't you pee first? She is not taking care of herself very well. Here, go to the bathroom. <laughs> And then I guess try to sleep in this bed if you can, maybe? The the buzzing, the flies are gonna really get to me. Oh my goodness, we gotta- Yeah, you fall asleep on the floor, that's fine too. All right, I think it's about time for Belinda to wake up, so let's go have a snack, Belinda, come on. The number six will be very important for you in the next 24 hours. They do like the prank phone calls in this game too, that's funny. We're gonna need to watch a little TV because our fun is so low. Switch to action. Maybe that's more entertaining. <laughs> she seems to be enjoying herself. So I want to start reading up on the cooking skill, but her fun is so bad, I don't know if we'll be able to do it. All right, that's probably enough. We'll try to read up on cooking a little bit here. She's not gonna do it. Can you at least clean up then, maybe? That would help a lot. I'm too depressed to study. Why is she going all the way out there? And the mom won't help at all. Gotta love her mom. <laughs> oh boy, let's check out, um... Okay, so the mom is a little bit hungry. Honestly, here, let's have a snack. We'll see if we can get the mom in a good mood and once she's in a good mood, we'll try to borrow some money from her. Are you running a science project in our toilet? Disgusting. Why is, she, why is Belinda getting blamed for everything? It's not her fault. Oh my gosh, we need to figure out like how to get some I wonder if we if we if having quick lunch will if we'll need the oven for that cuz I want to do something that doesn't require the oven so we can get our hunger up a little bit cuz it's getting bad here. Oh my gosh, she's going to use the stove. Oh my goodness. Please don't start it. Ah! Why is this game so hard? I swear it's like impossible. We're going to die. Just forget about that. The fireman's coming. We're just gonna have to have snacks until we can read a book because we're in such a terrible mood. Oh my gosh, this game, I swear it's impossible. I can hear your stomach grumbling from over here. Since you haven't bothered to read any cookbooks yet, why don't you call the pizza man? I'm not doing any cooking. Yeah, I know mom, you don't do anything around here. I do everything. So she suggested calling the pizza man. That's not a bad idea. Um, where's our phone at? Clean that up. Oh, the flies are coming from the toilet. What is that racket? Shut it off. I need some peace and quiet. I don't know why mom can't do anything for herself, like, at all. It's kind of annoying. Okay, she doesn't even want to clean. Ugh. Get in the bathtub, lady. Can we read for fun, maybe? Because the mom's not going to stop yelling at us about the uh, TV. You look tired, honey. Why don't you take a nap? Uh, mom, I think you're the one who looks tired. She just passed out. <laughs> oh my god. Here, turn this off. And we'll read a book. We'll be quiet because mom needs her peace and quiet. Here you go, mom. Go to sleep. <laughs> is our fun going up at all? Very, very slowly. This is not going well. Like once your needs get low in The Sims, it's like in The Sims 1 in particular, it is uh, so hard to bring them back up. Oh, there's the phone. Well, that's good to know. Let's call for pizza, I guess. Or enter, well, we need to sleep. But we're gonna have to sleep on the couch because mom is hogging the bed. All right, 
right, so we got the pizza, pizza gardener, fire department, police. So we'll call for pizza. That will be $40. Your pizza should be there in about an hour. Thanks for your order. So what can we do in the meantime? Not much. We don't have much for fun around here. Uh, let's read some more, I guess. Is that pizza? I think that's the pizza guy. Yep, that's the pizza guy. Let's get our pizza. Come on, come on, don't pass out. You need the pizza. Freddy the pizza dude. Dude, like I made it all the way from Sim City to your house in less than an hour. Good job, man. Definitely deserve a tip. So I'm kind of hoping that if we don't open it, it doesn't rot because we need sleep now. Okay, she's just gonna pass out right there. Oh my gosh, I'm doing so bad. This is not good. All right, mom is in a decent mood. She'll wake up and have some pizza, I guess. Maybe we can try to borrow more money from her. Stop sleeping on the floor. Go nap on here. All right, our comfort is going up, um, which is good. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to get our needs up. We have to really focus on this. We need to get out of this house. We don't have a bed. Mom is yelling at us constantly. I can hear your stomach grumbling from over here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know, Mom, we know. You're, you're yelling at us about everything. All right, watch some TV for a little bit then. This game is way harder than it should be, I swear. Oh, my stomach, when are you making dinner? Wouldn't You wouldn't starve your own mother, would you? I'm trying, Mom, I'm trying. A master chef in the making. Belinda has received one cooking skill point. Let's try to cook now. Yes, we did it. Oh, thank you. Belinda cooked dinner for the first time. You unlocked the Aeromaster Whiffer Puff Gold. Awesome. There you go, mom. Here's your dinner. Okay, good. She's gonna have some. She's in a great mood. Once she's uh finished with dinner, we'll ask her for more money. Maybe we'll be able to get out of here. <laughs> here, let's put these away. Oh, we can't put away leftovers? Huh. I didn't know you couldn't put away leftovers in this game. That's interesting. Oh, she's gonna have another plate though. She must be starving. We're about to pee, so let's go use the toilet real quick. Oh, she peed. Oh man, where's the mom? Let's ask her for some money. Can we borrow money from mom, please? Oh, there we go. Thank you, mom. Let's get as much money from her as we can. They're making a mess everywhere. This is such a nightmare, this game. At least the bath is bringing our comfort like way up. Okay, borrow money, please. Come on, keep borrowing money. All right, that was like another hundred bucks. Oh my gosh, come on, mom. Just give us all of it, please. Is she not gonna do any more? Oh my gosh, come on, come on. That's gotta be all of it, right? We'll clean up a little bit. Clean up this puddle, clean that dish, and then go to bed. I don't want them to waste the food. Mom's not really hungry. We'll get her to nap. Come on, guys, go to bed. No, it's strange. I thought we get, oh. Wait, did, okay, so we didn't quite borrow enough money. We need to get a job. So they added an extra goal for us. What are you doing? Go to sleep. All right, so let's get a job real quick while mom's still asleep. And then um, once she wakes up, we will, okay, we can't do that yet. We have to keep borrowing money from her apparently. All right, well, while she's asleep, let's do a little cleaning here. This is such a mess. Yeah, forget that one. All right, what do we need? Okay, so let's cook dinner again, or breakfast in this case. We'll have food ready for mom so she'll she'll be happy with us and give us a little more money. And I guess we'll watch TV. Is how's okay, so she her fun's really low too. Oh, she peed. Alright, let's see if we can get her to give us some money. We just need a little bit more. Oh, are you serious? We're not doing this puddle right now. So we'll wait for, for the mom to have a better mood and then try to borrow more money from her. I'm happy their social's going up though. Just look at this place, what a pigsty. This mess is ruining my mood. So she'll probably not give us any money if we don't clean up a little bit. Try to mop up some of the puddle, I guess. Okay, it's going up. All right, that's enough. Mom, fork over the money. We've done enough. <laughs> yes. Finally! Congratulations! Belinda got enough money to move out. Now you can visit the museum, too! Woohoo! Okay, thank you! We're finally out of this place where Mom just doesn't help us at all. <laughs> we do everything around here, Mom. We, we're leaving. So we'll find a job, and then we'll get the heck out of here. All right, so we are doing the slacker career. We can't be picky right now. Belinda finally got a job. You unlock the... 
perspiration execution treadmill. Finally moving out, I did one last favor for my little baby. Go to Mr. Landgrab's house up the street and give him the rental deposit I lent you. He's got a place that's just perfect. This game is hard. <laughs> it's like stressful and hard. Reality bites. Sure does. So now that we finally moved out of mom's house, I think this is a good place to end the video. In the next part, we'll pick up where we left off in the land grab house. Thank you for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.